Welcome to Adventures with Linux. My name's Patrick, and this is my computer. Uh, I have a Dell Alienware. It was released before Steam OS came out. So I bought one, and I took Steam OS off of it. And now I'm going to put Linux on it, because I only have 31.8 gigabytes left of my 500 gigabyte hard drive. And I can't stand this computer anymore. That's what we're going to do today. I am completely new to this. I have no idea how to deal with Linux or do any of the customization or anything that they tell me I can do. So I'm going to learn. I went to Ubuntu. I'm going to the desktop and I'm going to download 16.10. Okay, so I've downloaded 16.10. I'm going to burn an image of the ISO onto my flash drive down there. Alright, so I'm in my BIOS, which I have never been in on this computer before. Uh, what do I do? Uh, in my experience, most of the time you need to just go into the boot menu, find the USB drive, boot. and just boot from it. Is that going to be in USB storage drivers? Uh, I think so. Boot option 1, PNY USB 2.0, yep. Okay, so Derek helped me figure it out, and I got all my boot options in order. Now I'm going to save configuration and reset. Okay, so I'm in the grub, right? Is that what it's called? Uh, yeah, that's the bootloader, you know. I can't eat it, though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm just going to install Ubuntu. I don't want to try it without installing. I don't, I don't want my old Windows OS. No, try, try without installing means that you can, like, take it for a test drive and use it before you install it. Oh. <laughs> okay, now it says preparing to install Ubuntu, should I just download updates or ins and install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware, Flash, MP3, and other media? Me, personally, I like to do it manually when I install it, but, I mean, essentially, it just does it for you, so I guess if you don't really know what's going on, that's an easy way to get started. Yeah, because I have no idea what's going on. Alright, so, as you can see, we're almost done installing. I'm super excited. Right, so while this is installing, I'm going to kind of go over why I'm doing this and why I decided to be a part of this whole thing. Windows bogs me down. I hate the bloatware. I hate the fact that it's completely, like, you can't customize it at all. I already use Rain Meter so that I could kind of have a nice desktop, like a different kind of desktop. And I was told that if I use Linux, it's basically like Rain Meter for everything. I can customize my desktop, I can customize how my apps look, scripts that I have no idea how to use, but I'm going to hopefully learn. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of things that I'm really excited about with Linux, and I just, I think that this is going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited about it. Alright, so the installation just completed. Um, it had to erase like 400 gigabytes worth of stuff from my hard drive and install all the little things that it needs. Another thing, I settled on Ubuntu because I know that it's the most popular version of Linux that you can get. I know that I can look online and find a lot of stuff. I know that Derek knows a lot about Linux and Ubuntu is user-friendly, uh, so to speak. As user-friendly as a customizable Linux system can get. Whoa, look at that. Windows never had anything like this. Oh. Very nice. I needed these. So this has been the first episode of Adventures with Linux. Uh, it was more about getting me started. We're not going to do this all the time. It's definitely going to be more like vlog style of me figuring out programs that I need to use. It's going to be us, Derek and I, discussing what to do to make it more user-friendly for me, stuff like that. And, and uh, not to mention, it's not just going to be uh, him switching. We're going to do other projects in the show, like... We have plans to get a Raspberry Pi and build something. Like It's not just going to be him switching. It's just, as we get started, the first couple episodes are going to be like this. Yeah, exactly. So um, if you liked this, let us know in the comments. Please like and subscribe, and check out our Facebook page. I'm really excited about this, and I hope you are too. Thanks.